Hey, Jay here. I am halfway through the chivalric romance, the epic poem by uh, Ludvigo Aristo, uh, Orlando Furioso, the 16th century uh, super long poem. It is uh, 800 and something pages in the first volume, which I what, what I've read so far, and another 800 pages in the second volume. But I thought I'd just stop by for a second and say, hi, I'm halfway through and really enjoying myself about the story, which I guess the main, the main focus is Orlando, this knight who has this unrequited love for Angelica, a uh, Sarsen, Sarsen princess who uh, is captured, captured in the war. The, the Sarsens have invaded, uh, fictitiously, I believe in this case, invaded uh, the Charlemagne's Europe and Charlemagne and all of the Christian knights are, are fighting against the Sarsens and there's great gigantic set piece battles and stuff like that and great listings of all the warriors but uh in amongst this orlando is pursuing angelica who yes she was taken as a prize but she's gotten away and is using all her wiles and her beauty to uh to get her to, to get back home that is her 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 tired thing she is not interested in orlando in the least uh or any of the other knights really um, say for one who who uh, she encounters upon a way but that's not like that's that's the main story but there's also all these mul all these other stories uh, throughout the thing uh, some of them which really kind of bounce off this original story uh, you so you have Orlando a Christian with uh, Angelica a Sarsen uh, one of the other couples in the in the book is uh, Bradamante who is the Christian this kick-ass a maiden warrior, Christian maiden warrior, who is in love with uh, Rigurio, who is a Sarsen prince, who um, it is apparently foretold that if he converts to Christianity and marries uh, Bradamante, he will die. And so there are forces trying to keep them apart. They both want to get back together again. Uh, but and there's just all these di different different things in here of uh, what I think kind of comes that there's a thing here of kind of just male anxiety. There's there's a knight who gets bested by Bradamante. Upon learning that it was a maid that knocked him off the horse, he blushes so red, his armor almost turns red. It's just kind of one of these kind of lovely kind of just images of a, of a knight in blushing red armor. Um, there is a society of women who for 2,000 years have murdered and enslaved men. Uh, and, uh, you know, the tale of exactly how you have to, uh, survive to just become a prince of them. You have to, you have to fight 10 warriors and then you have to satisfy 10, 10 women. And if you succeed in both things, you have to satisfy all those 10 women in one night, uh, then you will become a, a prince who kind of gets the rule over them. You're not allowed to leave. You're still a prisoner. Uh, but uh, they, you'll, you'll also have 10, 10 women at these, those 10 women as, as your wife. Um, and there's, you know, tales of the, the there's descriptions of what uh, the men, the enslaved men in this society look like, which is uh, kind of, uh, they're drained of all their masculine virtue and stuff like that. Uh, there is another tale where Rigurio gets uh, enchanted by a, a female sorc a sorceress and is transformed into this very kind of very fem feminized, uh, feminized kind of version of himself, basically a name only from being the manliest man to wearing bracelets and earrings and, and long pomaded tresses. And, you know, when he comes to, he just wants to find a hole to, 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 to hide himself in. And like all these little stories kind of come back and reflect on this, the overstory of Orlando chasing Angelica. And it's Orlando Furioso, which is all about uh, Orlando going mad. And why does Orlando go mad? Orlando goes mad by the end of the first half of this book, because Angelica makes her own choice about who she's going to love. And it's not Orlando. And the whole thing of uh, this woman making her own choice is the thing and it not being the choice he wants is the thing that drives Orlando mad. So there is this just constant theme of, you know, we have these chivalric super warrior knights who are just like cutting through giant swaths of armies and super macho, but all this kind of male anxiety of like, what if they don't choose me? Uh, what if a woman would best me? What if I became 
kind of woman like myself, wouldn't that be horrible, um, is all kind of the stuff that's happening in this uh, very comedic, a very kind of action-y, uh, rom romantic, uh, very uh, sexy poem that uh, I have I came to because of uh, Tom at uh, Tom L.A. Books. He's going through uh, this book, the, uh, the, uh, the poem, Canto by Canto. Definitely check out his poem. I'll put a playlist of all the cantos he's already gone through in his introduction because he does a far more a far better job of introducing this poem to me but yeah i just wanted to stop there at the halfway point and just kind of note these things um because it's it is such a long poem and i'm i'm reading it out loud to myself i'm doing the barbara reynolds uh translation of it which was recommended by tom uh and uh it's i'm going through it slowly so it's like trying to keep in mind what i've already experienced with what's going to come next is is important and i mean uh, Aristo uh, just does such an amazing job of, of of weaving all these different stories through. You have you have cliffhangers at the end of every canto. Uh, you'll be in the middle of one stanza, and suddenly it'll switch to another story, just so fluidly. Um, and you're you're just you're kind of overwhelmed by this kind of great fire hose. But it's interesting how all these little all the different little threads are kind of weaving back into each other. Even at this point, at the midpoint of the thing, you can see they've gone off like this. And then just the kind of the amazing structure of the poem. It's it's a giant poem, but it is it is actually tightly constructed. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. That is Orlando Furioso. On to part two. Uh, Kento's 24 to 46. All right, more videos later.